Honest opinion. Am I too old to wear something like that? I think it fit in with the vibe of the eyes, which is a makeup tutorial that I just did, but I just don't know. I do such braids for my daughter every morning, she's four. Hi everyone, welcome back to Linda Libra Loca. Today is another empties post, and I have a few makeup bits, some skincare bits, and two cheat items. Going to start with a skincare, going to start with cleansers, Dros de Laux, Natural Cosmetics, Cheat Tox, Natural Detox. This is among the saturated markets of low pH cleansers, one that is proudly high in pH. Yes, I know. Just like you, I believe that a low pH cleanser is actually beneficial for the skin, but um, there is a whole school of natural health behind that brand. And they believe in de-acidification for the body and the skin. And that aside, I really like this cleanser. It's a clay cleanser, it's gentle, it contains sesame seed oil, it does contain alcohol, so I wouldn't advise it for really sensitive skins, but I used it, as you can see, it's completely empty and my skin really, really like it, even though I made sure to follow up with an acid. Another cleanser, a Borean Solid Cleansing Oil. It's supposed to smell like green tea. I don't think it does, but I don't know what it smells like either. This is a solid cleansing oil, so it's solid when you put it out and then turns into an oil once you massage it into the skin and emulsifies when you rinse it. It's a great first cleanse, I liked it a lot. I only purchased because it contains shea butter and that has a tendency to break me out. Then, these two have been a long time coming. Institutum Toner. It just says toner on the box. It's actually brightening and exfoliating. It is an AHA toner, just like the Pixie Glow Tonic. And this is a little stronger, it's not as gentle as the Pixie Glow Tonic, but I did enjoy it a lot and could use it almost every day. Now it's gone, it lasted me more than a year, so I think the high price point is justified, but yeah, see if you want something like that and the packaging instead of silver or white. From the same range, the Institutum Serum, and that's the brightening serum. And this contains niacinamide and other brightening ingredients, and it really, I really saw a difference when using it. This is actually my second bottle, though full disclaimer, I got sent the second bottle as well, so I didn't purchase one. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent, but uh, it is a product that I can see myself repurchasing in the future. Other end of the spectrum, Clerasil, it's a drugstore brand, and that's the Acute Spot Gel. Uh, I used to love the pads that they did, the salicylic acid pads, but they discontinued them, so I picked up this one, which is salicylic acid as well, but it's way too harsh for me to apply all over my skin. You can use it as a spot treatment, but I have since purchased the ordinary salicylic acid, 2%, which can be used all over for prevention, so I don't think I'm going to repurchase this one. Heat masks. I don't really like them that much, but they're easy to finish because they are one use. This one is by Misha. I tried another one, a purifying one, that I showed in the last empties video, and I have to say I'm really impressed by the Misha mask. It's the Misha Pure Source Cell Sheet Mask Honey. It's of course not vegan because it contains honey. I really like the ingredients. I don't think that I can say if it really made a difference to my skin because if yeah, it's a one-use thing only, but Misha is a brand that I would recommend for sheet masks if you are into sheet masks. These two I won in a giveaway. I had a third one that I still need to try. This is by The Solution, the face shop, hydrating and brightening. Both don't differ that much and both have alcohol denat as their first or second ingredient. I'm not really sensitive to alcohol, they didn't irritate my skin, but yeah, I didn't feel like they did much either, so I don't think I'm going to repurchase this brand again. And that's actually all the skincare that I finished, so let's move on to makeup. And that's kind of repetitive because I have two mascaras. This one is by Lacura, which is Ali's own brand, cute curly lashes, and I like it, uh, but it dried down pretty quickly. After two months it is 
no longer really delivering the effects that um, it had in the beginning. And this one is by Essence, the False Matte Lashes Mascara, lasted me up to six months, but I have an issue with that one, and that is, I can still show you, the brush comes with way too much product, so all the time you have to wipe it off, otherwise you will get clump heaven. And um, yeah, it annoys me so much, it's old. I'm just not reaching for it anymore. And then, told you it was repetitive, my makeup comes in pairs, two liquid liners. And both are these felt tip liners, and I don't know, but is it the same for you? No matter which brand I try, they just dry out on me so quickly. This one is by, I have no clue, it's completely ripped up. Ah, it was by Love Cosmetics, which is new, and I really liked it for application, but as I said, it dried out, and now I can't draw one line without having to push uh, to get some uh, liquid back in. And the other one was the Catrice Glam and Doll Super Black Liner, which has this uh, strange tip that you can actually press onto the skin to stamp on a wing, which came in handy, but again, six weeks, and then it was dried out. And now two cheap items, because they're not actually empty, but they are going to leave my collection. And the first one is this Essie Mini, and it's called Going Boohoo. And I like the color, it's a nice pastel, but when I reached for it and um, painted my nails for Easter, it was really gloopy, and then I thought back and remembered that I had bought it four years ago on TK Maxx, so I have no clue how old it is. It's probably no longer good, and it started chipping within. 24 hours, which is not good. And the other one is the Dr. Duve Glow Skin Glycolic Rich Cleanser. And this is a glycolic cleanser which does not only contain glycolic acid for exfoliation, but contains sodium lareth sulfate as, as surfactant. So it can be a little harsh, and I found that with me using mainly salicylic acid, using this on top was too much. And so, yeah, you can see I haven't used a lot, and I've had it for six months. So I'm trying, emphasis on try here, to convince my husband to use it, because he could deal with some exfoliation, especially around the beard line, but yeah, usually he uses shower gel, so anything's a step up from that, and I think it's actually quite a good cleanser if you don't use acids as a second step and have quite robust and... Uh, oily skin. And that sums up my empties. If you don't want to miss the next video, subscribe and like the video. Tell me in the comments below if you've tried anything and I'll see you all very soon with another one. Bye!